March Madness 2015 and out of the East region. The final game of the Sweet 16 on day two. We had the number seven seeded Michigan State Spartans versus the number three seeded Oklahoma Sooners. And what a game this was in the first half. It was all Oklahoma. They pushed their lead to 10 points more than once. I think two, three times they pushed their lead to 10 points every time the Spartans kept trying to claw back in it. But then up by 10 with a little over three minutes left in the first half. Denzel Valentine hits the three-pointer to bring the game within seven. And then with a little over two and a half minutes left, Brian Forbes hits another trade for the Spartans and that brought it to within four points and that would remain the score going into halftime at 31-27 with Oklahoma narrowly ahead of Michigan State. Then in the second half, so much excitement. It's what March Madness is all about and we saw the just so many big three-pointers by the Spartans starting off with Denzel Valentine just over a minute into to the second half, nailing a trade to make it a one-point game. But then Oklahoma would push their lead back to five points. And then Travis Trice at the 16 and a half minute mark left in the game hit another three-pointer, and now it was a two-point lead for Oklahoma as Michigan State was hanging in there with them. And it was just a battle. Cousins hit a dunk for the Sooners and Trice with the layup and Valentine with the jumper and that tied the game up at 39 and it would remain tied at 39 for almost 4 minutes until with about 11 minutes left in the game the Sooners got a jumper from Heald and he drew the foul. It was an and one and so now it was a 3 point lead for Oklahoma but then Denzel Valentine with about 10 and a half left to play hits another big tray and and it was now tied up at 42. Then after Travis Trice gets a big defensive board, Dawson hits the jumper. And now the Spartans were up with the score 44-42. But Oklahoma came right back. Heel drove the lane. He got the foul. And he went to the line to shoot a pair. He made them both. And it was tied up at 44. Then moments later, Cousins would go one for two and put Oklahoma up by one. But then on the other end, Dawson with the jumper to put the Spartans up by a point but then a layup by Thomas for Oklahoma and now Oklahoma was back in the lead by one but then Matt Costello of the Spartans slammed it in and it was now 48-47 with Michigan State up by one with just under seven minutes left to play and then with about a little less than six and a half minutes on the clock Denzel Valentine nails the tray and it was now a four point lead for Michigan State but Oklahoma wouldn't go away they kept fighting back in it. They got a couple of free throws to make it a two-point game but then at the five-minute mark, Travis Trice with a big three-pointer for Michigan State and it was now a five-point lead for the Spartans. Then a couple more free throws for Oklahoma and so now it was a three-point game. Now with just two minutes left, Travis Trice hits his jumper to make it a five-point game. Oklahoma gets back to the line. Thomas hits both free throws and it was 56-53 with about a minute and a half left to play. Travis Trice then drew the foul, goes to the line, hits both free throws, and now was a five-point lead for Michigan State. But then, Buddy Heald hit a three-pointer for the Sooners to make it a two-point game at 58-56. Michigan State then threw up a three. They missed. They got their own rebound. Then they went for a two, and they ended up getting another rebound. And then Valentine drew the foul. So he went to the foul line, hit both shots with less than 30 seconds left to play, and it was a four-point lead for the Spartans. But then Oklahoma gets a layup from Thomas, and it's back to a two-point game with just 16 seconds on the clock. Oklahoma took a timeout, and then they fouled Travis Trice as Michigan State inbounded the Trice, he goes to the free throw line to shoot two free throws in. Travis Trice comes up clutch, going two for two from the free throw line to make it a four-point lead for Michigan State as there was just 14 seconds left to play in this game. Oklahoma then gave it to Heald. He threw up a tray and he missed. Michigan State gets the rebound in this game, comes to a close with the final score. Michigan State 62, Oklahoma 58. 
and Michigan State pulls off the first upset of the Sweet 16 round. Is there the only team to upset anyone in this round as we saw it go all chalk as we had the number one seeds move on in their games so far and the number two and number three seeds move on. But here Michigan State gets the upset over Oklahoma with the foul score. Michigan State 62, Oklahoma 58. And what a game it was as it was very tightly contested. Michigan State narrowly edging out Oklahoma from the field as they shot 38.6% versus just 36.4% for Oklahoma, very close. And Michigan State actually was struggling from the free throw line until the closing moments. Those big free throws for Travis Trice. Travis Trice was perfect from the line in this game. Six for six, so was Valentine, two for two. But other than Valentine and Trice, the Spartans only made one free throw as they shot only 56.3% from the free throw line. That nearly cost them the game as the Sooners shot 87.5% from the foul line. But the saving grace for Michigan State was their proficiency from downtown. Although they only shot 33.3% from the three-point line, they hit nine trays, which was more than twice as many for Oklahoma, who only barely four shooting only 23.5 percent from three-point land so those big three-pointers the timely three-pointers the strong defense of Michigan State leads them to victory in a very hard fought close game against the Sooners the Sooners actually had more rebounds just two more it was very even on the glass 38 rebounds to 36 with a narrow edge going to Oklahoma the Spartans had two more assists, nine assists to seven assists. So you're getting a little bit better ball movement. Oklahoma had four blocks versus just one for Michigan State. But as I said, timely three-point shooting and strong defense, which doesn't necessarily translate to statistics. But that defense of the Spartans and with their three-point shooting, timely three-point shooting, ends up getting them the victory. And of course, Travis Trice coming up clutch from the free throw line as he was perfect, as he was six for six from the foul line. As I said, Valentine, two for two, they were both perfect. And Travis Trice in this game, 24 points. He was the game's leading scorer. He had three rebounds and two assists as well. Denzel Valentine, 18 points, seven rebounds and two assists. And Travis Trice in Denzel Valentine actually matched Oklahoma in points for the second half is the two combined for 27 total points in the second half of this game and that was what the Oklahoma Sooners combined for as a team as they put up 27 on the board in the second half so Travis Trice and Valentine coming up huge of course it was a team effort as I said the great defense of Michigan State is they were able to hold the Sooners to just 23.5 percent from three-point land shutting them down from downtown and the Spartans going on as they are advancing to the Elite Eight in the East region where they're going to be facing Louisville. And that's going to be on Sunday, March 29th at 2 o'clock. I believe the tip-off's 2.20. And it's going to be the number four-seeded Cardinals versus the number seven-seeded Michigan State Spartans. And we'll keep you updated on that game as it comes to a conclusion. But as for this game, the Spartans are moving on with the big upset with the final score. Michigan State 62, Oklahoma 58.